What's up to my friends on YouTube? In today's tutorial, I will be showing you how to use the stopwatch function on iPhone and everything that you need to know about it so you can successfully operate it as well as knowing all the different features that you have on there. This is a great feature that is automatically pre-installed on iPhone. There's a variety of different time measurements. You might already use your app for this alarm, but you might not know that there is also a stopwatch. If you look on the bottom toolbar now, right next to the alarm, it is second to the left. It will take you to a menu for stopwatch. You could go ahead and click on that. And upon coming to this menu, it is very sleek in design and it's pretty simple overall. You just hit the start button there. And if you swipe, swipe to the left, it'll bring you a different menu as it just goes around in a circle, kind of like a more visual style approach, if you so please to look at that. But you can see the menu here, it counts in seconds, minutes, and also hours if you ever get there, um, as well as milliseconds all the way at the bottom there. You can see it's just gliding through. And then there's also the other button there for lap. If you don't know what that already does, I kind of just showed it you there. And it just laps the, um, the stopwatch. And then, then also another example that I showed you is you could set the stopwatch and go to different apps if you'd like, and it's still going to be running through. Of course, that lap feature, I'm sure, is for people that are running marathons or anything that is longer than a mile, and you could lap your time each mile. I don't really use it or ever use it, but I did use it as the example there. If you want to use that, it is a great feature to have on there. I just don't personally see a use for it. And yes, I'm aware that was an awful lot of use. That's all there is to it though, as far as this stopwatch tutorial goes. It's pretty simple, but if you did have any questions or I missed anything, comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Other than that, if you found this tutorial helpful today, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.